Until the development of the slate industry during the 18th century, the surrounding areas consisted of agriculture, which was associated with the sea, namely fishing and transportation. Slate quarrying had existed for over a hundred years by small groups of men who paid an annual fee of 20 shillings to the landowners for quarrying slate. The landowners, who previously regarded the sites of a mountain as only suitable for grazing sheep, realized its potential. From the end of the 18th century, and for the following hundred years, the slate industry of North Wales gradually became very important to the local economy. At its peak, the Dinorwick Quarry employed over 3,000 men. After 1890, the production of slate became less, as did the number of employees. The Dinorwick Quarry was one of the largest slate quarries in the world. Today, the scars of the terraces on the side of the Elidor Mountain, along with the tips of slate waste, are a silent testimony to the industrialization of this part of the North Wales Valley. The quarry was once the major source of income for many surrounding communities, including Clamberis, Diniolan, and as far away as the Isle of Anglesey. The slate quarrymen were a special breed of highly skilled workers who labored in the face of the prevailing elements, forever running the risk of death, ill health, and serious injury. When you were in the house, 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 Went to do hello seventy five pence there, and been on the Hanada, been on the Hanare. Well, I'm going to show you a lot of the way to work later, to work later back. I can tell you that I'm going to hear about him. I know that I have all the pet with that here. I can make the trier points at him better. But you only go here, I don't need to pay on it. You can put or army, you only go here. Kinder, <laughs> Doc, he was or they didn't fit to give it a hand in Burro Command. On the Rai Hitriokal, Sechi, or Bonk, Ilaur Shet, Icatur Hokevind, I get not my own or any tat to crew in Gorbod Minasan, a sack signal hill in a jet. Hakita impress are the one of me as any cavatari was or Kevrimo and all. But it's a bomb nurse, dear. I went in or any trio car upon nurse my boar me is. Or then in dear Bonk and Bashivara and Gia. Claddy, Julia, and Gare, Mursor, Kian, the best benagger coaches of the Gare, 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 the Hirs, about Narira. There's a cramp, Yamo, Rastoria, a trio caval and the Murso, Agon, the Kian. A week on a sheet three four on a pimacoreo with the Botari Argois and Murso, or the only Galadia owner, we sat a thin cook win, I saw wind tomorrow, a bow and the skin of top, Aram Pinani. Or Trio sweet so again near a bit of a bar, but he the clutch and we get. Only The normal crew of quarrymen would be two rockmen, a splitter and a dresser, and occasionally one or two journeymen, young boys learning the craft. After the rock face had been blasted with gunpowder, one of the crew would work on the rock face with a crowbar levering off the giant slabs loosened by the blast. Splitters would then split the rock to a manageable size with a hammer and chisel.
Quarrymen working high on the galleries would load the slabs onto wagons which were pulled by small steam engines on a narrow gauge line to the inclined head. Wagons were transported down the inclines in groups of four. Full wagons at the top and empty ones at the bottom. Well, I don't mean. Nadi, <laughs> Red he shop rick messer, he veser pillar, a drach petrachical dui, clots, so he can take clots, so it in darn, Argavari hosti, Oscar hid either namikian, or no one had either nam, direct pitwar of Motwalde, Petrachidim Livio, no Rusit Rusit, or he bedul, a knit of some masan, three a crotz of the Nigal and princes. Ac sŵllt a deg oedd yn gael am ugain deg, ydyn nhw oedd ac eisiau wneud o'ch sym i fyny cyn penderfynu be oedd mesur y pilar i gael i lifio. Ac os oedd ac un lifio fawr gwrllad, oedd gwrs o pawb ymdi gwrllu, 
oedd yn y fargan, ydyn nhw'n ona dipyn o waith. Wel, sy'n ni'n dweud sym sy'n y peth hefyd yn da. O rai di'n ni'n neud o felly ar gyfer y gorra oedd o'n ni'n gael, ar gyfer cyflog y mis. The quarry ran on a bargain system. The bargain was a piece of rock about six meters square. Members of these bargain teams were trained to work on the galleries. A certain sum would be paid for good rock, a lower for the rubble. The wages of all members of the team depended on the results of this bargaining. Without any surprise, this system was open to all sorts of manipulation. Well, gosa ddach chi'n gwneud hyn a hyn o lych chi. O ddach chi'n cael... O ddach chi'n cael gwneud y gyflog o dda mister yn talu i eich chdi. A beth bynnag oedd dros ben. O dda mwrw o dda nhw'n galw tair llechan a un o dda nhw'n cyfri hynny. Ac o ddach chi'n cael gwneud tair yna i gael un te. Ond ddach chi'n cael gwneud y gyflog i fyny i ddechra y fanna. Yn rhaid ddach chi wedi gwneud beth bynnag o dda. Ond dda drwg o dda. Fos ti beth ti'n meddwl am tanno fo'r o'n yna. A dda mynd i sens. Sa ti'n meddwl o dda ddach chi'n cael pri ys gynnyn nhw. Ac yn dweud reid mae o hyn a hyn ydy'r pri ys. Os o dda chi wedi dod yn ys ddach chi'n gwneud dda dda gormod mewn ffordd. Ydy bod o lwcus ydy cael mi ys da. Ydy bod yn sych a wedi cael llechu da o sydd ddod i lawr i'r sied i gael ei trymio i fyny a beth o'n felly. Ac os os ddach chi i greu gormod, o'n o'n tynnu'n brys di lawr. Y peth o'n dda ffarol chi. Oedd pawb helpan nhw i gilydd da. Rwy'n dod yna, oedd o'n eisiau gwneud dydwch chi rhyw brys, special brys dydd da ni wan te. A dim digon o lych chi. A fyddwn nhw'n dod data, a chi eich gwneud, cwyl yw mae'n unig yn hard, cwyl, os gen ti glwt, gai, a clwt, dim clwt, a pys i'n ôl eichan ydy hwnnw, tha bloc, de. A dda 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 Mae'n nhw'n dweud i ddweud i ddweud o dda nhw'n ddynion clyfar o'n nadwy. Bechod yna fy sanna efallwn beth, cos peis i i'r chwarol, mynd nes i am bod gen i dair chwar. A dda nhw'n digon o bres yn dod i i'r beth a te. Ond dwi'n mynd eis o mi wedi mynd yn broffesor yna ti byd. Ond fi dyna oedd y reswm bod fi yn gyrrol mynd i helpu mae'r manad. When the wagons were transported down from the incline, they were then pulled to the bottom of the quarry and taken to the big cutting sheds. At the sheds, the slabs were sawn, split, and dressed into slates. Wel, oedd yna, oedd yna ni'n gweithio mewn ffwch i frifol yna. Yn yw wedi gynhwyrach yn ymrentisiad, yn lle bydd reid mi mynd i ar y graig i twll oedd yna ni'n alw, a gweithio i twll yw anhad. Ond cyn hynny oedd ni'n gweithio oedd gwrs yn y set, lle oedd yna lwch llifio, a llwch holdi, a llwch naddu. Ac oedd y llwch fel pwdwr oedd yna'ch draed chi, fedra chi ddim osgoio. 
o reid i chi anadlu, da gynnon ni'n masg, sydd o'n neb yn cael masg, o hwnnw mewn ngair, oedd o'n wybod amdano fo. Wedyn, felly, oedd yr cyflwr gwaith yn ddifrifol. I sbion ôl yno fo heddiw, os a chi'n cael gynnaid heddiw yma, ac oedd o'n ni'n mewn set, sinc, trwy'r gaea, ac oedd o'n ni'n dechra, wel, hanna rawd i saith yn y bora, tan bump yn oes, ac oedd y trydan yn isal iawn yn adon yn fawr o trydan yna, ma'n digon i droi'r siert oedd o, a dyna ddim gwres o gwbl, dim gwres, ac oedd yn ni'n gweithio yn ar dywydd mwyad, difrifol wel a chi'r i oed yn y gaea, gwrs oedd yn i fyny, hanna'r i fyny, yw mynydd yr 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 ac oedd hi'n waith ar rei oedd yn gweithio ar y graig. Oedd hi'n wrth gwrs yn gorfod rhoi gorau ddiw o'r hew ac yn cymryd egwyl, ond gyda oedd yr hew yn datmar, oedd y graig yn symud a dyn o'n aberig, ofnadwy. I chi gael rhwb oedd hi'n alw fo ffol, os a chi'n alw fo'n sy'n sy'n agor gwrs. A dyn o'n hwnnw'n digwydd, pan oedd y graig yn symud efo o'r hew yn chwyddo da. Ac fel oedd y rhew yn datmar, oedd y graig yn dieddol o bod yn ansicr ac yn ansefydlog oedd hi'n berig. Da ddiw am eisyn aml iawn, a chi gael hynna hyn o lech yn y sied. A bydd o'n digwydd o hogiau twll yn mynd i lawr eu helpu o hogiau yn y sied. Os hag oedd â chi medru eich a bod â fargan gwrsa chi bod hogiau hynny wedi cael y targed, oedd yn data chi eu helpu chi ta i gael y targed. O pawb yn helpu chi gwyd, ond am cymnigan o gwbl na fe. Dim o gwbl, oedd o led i fi rhawnd, oedd o led i gonafu a chywitio, oedd o chwch a byddai'n felly, a'r oer ni, a'r gwaith cerdad, a dim dŵr y poed i fwch i'n a dim byd felly, oedd dwi'n cofio a dag arall i fi dyn bwng sa'n braich yn y gynnu, ond a'r yr yn smawr ar y stof sy'n o, ac oedd o dŵr yn slond oedd o'r tap, a methu dall mewn mata, a pen a gorwyd yr yr yn, a sbiaf iawn i yna, oedd o'r mawr di mynd i fawn i, ac oedd i wedi cael ei berwi, a darn o honno, oedd i'n mynd i'r tap dyna, pa mor dŵr yn The cabin was a place where all the quarrymen would come together to have their lunch and discuss the issues of the day. The men would always have a chairman who would try to resolve any disagreements that arose within the quarry. His word would be the final word. The chairmen were good public speakers and often of high standing as deacons and local councillors. To be elected cabin chair was a privilege and would raise their status in the community. Oh yeah, we did. We did make all the swords when I held the press and cap on me. We see swords that I held in tap. In tap, I can look at the camera. I have a brand new one, but I don't have the press in tap. I go down in between who I can have on. I see consumed here as in noise and mess. I bank you. I want to go down in between who. A wedi dda swyddi mi wedyn fi si'n ar y wain lotson o swyddi'r llawan yn y chwedega ac yng nghyrdd as dyfodau beth felly. Og i si swydd fel llywydd caban. Ac wrth wranto ar y chen ogiad i bod yn llywyddio ymlaen i. Dwi'n credu na felly ddo i si ymlaen i mynd ar lwyddfa na gwynebu cynnu llywydda a medru siarad i pin bach yn gohydus a da cynnu. Oedd o'n brofiad am nadwy o coleg, coleg y chwarel maen nhw de, coleg y lichan las a godi'n berffaith wir ond a dynion galluog o nadwy nhw. Efo bob dim yn mynd i'r sgrifennu penillion, oedd o'n teid hanesion, medru dweud stori i sda. Oedd o'n ddynion ddiwylledig o'n nadwy de. When the slate was cut and dressed, they were loaded onto wagons which were taken to Gilvach Ddi, which was the heart of the Dynorwyd quarry. they were transported on larger steam engines on a seven-mile line between Gilvach Ddi and Penscoins near Port de Norwich.
When the train arrived at Penscoynes, the wagons of slate were transported down an incline to the dry dock in Port de Norway. From here, the slates were shipped to other parts of the country and as far away as Ireland and Europe. The Second World War further affected the slate industry as the demand for building slates fell considerably and many of the quarrymen enlisted in the army. The North Wales slate industry never really returned to the level of productivity it had enjoyed at the turn of the century. In August 1969, the Dunorwick quarry closed without warning and the 350 workforce of men who left for their annual holidays were not aware that they would never again return to the quarry. A way of life for a whole community has ended with the closure of the De Norwich slate quarries. San Beres, San Rig, Dainolin, Penzarwain and other villages who have sent their men and boys to work in De Norwich for over two and a half centuries have over the years watched its labour force dwindle from 3,000 men to 300. Now there are none. The last of the orders that have trickled through from contractors in this country are being dispatched. But these will remain here at De Norwich. These piles of crates neatly stacked up, ready for a cancelled journey to France, are mute witnesses of why the quarry failed. De Norwich was geared to production for the French market after the majority of this country had rejected its product as too expensive. Up to March, the quarry was exporting 40% of its production to France. When de Gaulle went, all orders were cancelled. But a promise was given that in September, France would take double the amount she had been taking. On August the 7th came another message. Well, perhaps not double the amount, but certainly just as much as before. A few days later, the franc was devalued and the curt message came through, no more slates. And so these crates, crammed with the small red slates that France likes, but this country doesn't, remains at the disposal of the receiver. So does the quarry's rolling stock, brought down from the top of the quarry for the eyes of potential buyers. The houses that quarry officials live in, but owned by the quarry, are also to be sold. The tenants given notice to quit. The quay at Port de Norwich, from where so many slates were exported to France, still piled up with the now useless French slates, will also have to be sold, if it hasn't been sold already. And the men whose fathers, grandfathers and great-grandfathers worked at de Norwich Quarry, what happens to them? I put this question to the former manager of the Machlin Slate Quarry, opened by de Norwich in 1961, Mr Owen Wilson. Well, what's to be left for them uh, in this area? When you think that 50% of the men of the labour force, their ages are over 50, and 75% of them, I would think, well over the 40s. And of course they've been in slate quarrying all their lives. All their lives, their fathers and grandfathers before them. How did the men take it? Well, it was, of course, in this locality, there are a lot of rumours being going around, but it did come as a shock, the ultimate closure. There was always a hope that somebody would take over and keep the quarry going. What will happen to the quarry now, Mr Wilson, in your opinion? Well, unless some uh, consortium or some uh, group of companies take it over, uh, I think that the, the only thing that's left is slow stagnation. Do you think it would be worth taking over? Well, I wouldn't uh, be prepared to answer that. I, uh, De Norwich placed too much faith in the vagaries of French politics. But the real tragedy is that in the final analysis, it was not only the franc that ended the life of this 250-year-old quarry, but we ourselves contributed to the ending of a Welsh way of life by steadfastly refusing to buy its products, thus consigning the largest open slate quarry in the world to the pages of the Welsh history books. Today, the old quarry remains virtually unchanged, with heavy machinery and men's possessions still where they had left them. The remaining industrial memorabilia will remain for many years as a reminder of what the quarry workers had to endure for almost two centuries.
best of what you've got Cause you'll never be the same